Movie Demand and Update. You got it. We'll get an update. Everyone, today, I wanted to show you what was going on. Uh, we're going to be shooting uh, Eleanor's deck lid. Right there. Can you guess the color? It's gray. Come on. Anybody can guess that. Actually. Actually. A lot of people didn't see this coming. Here is the color. We're going to reveal what's going on the deck lid. So Eleanor's deck lid is actually going to get Christine's color. This is Chroma Base. This is a gallon I've had in here. And if anybody doesn't understand about DuPont, which is actually now Exalta, which calls all their stuff Chromax, um, Chroma Base lasts forever as long as you keep it at a certain temperature, unactivated and unre well, even reduced, you can do it too. So we're going to be doing, this cover is really nice, so we're going to be doing about three coats of red, which is the old Christine color. And then we're going to be putting some very expensive clear on it because I don't have cheap clear here. So uh, you will get to see that um, in this video. Okay, a uh, question that's going to be hitting up in the comments below. Why the hell a Christine color and what the hell is Christine? I built four Christine cars out of here, which means they're one parts movie car and three replicas, including the right hand drive. Um, so I built those cars um, to the best of my ability and uh, gave everybody a decent product. Um, Everyone's happy with them, blah, blah, blah. Just what we do here. I uh, don't plan on doing any more of those cars. I, I run my route um, with them. But in the process, I have a lot of, I have like leftover stuff here and there. We have this remnant color here. And why the heck is going on here? Why are you painting this red? Eleanor, Eleanor's deck lid red? I don't get it. Well. Not my rules. Glenn asked, hey, I need a color and I need something. I was like, well, I got this in the cabinet. He's like, let's do this, man. Let's spray Eleanor's deck lid red. And uh, she's gonna be Christine Red. Ugh. Okay. And we're going to do a final sand on this, of course, and we're going to prime it one more time. After priming, we're going to do a final sand on the prime, then we're going to seal it, and then we're going to do three base and two clear. Boy, did that sound fucked up. All right, here's where we are. Uh, we have Eleanor's deck lid, sanded back, did a little body work, took care of a couple little area scratches and whatnot in it, and it's all good. We're 400 out. Okay, I'm all mixed up on epoxy prime. We're going to shoot it. The reason why epoxy prime, and it's a value shade for even though it's green, and plus I'm shooting a metal part, and I have stuff left over from uh, this morning, so I'm going to use it up. No need to waste it, and that'll be a fantastic sealer coat for the deck lid. All right, here we go. So we're done doing that. I used the epoxy for a sealer, and there's nothing wrong with doing that. I'm gonna let it set up for about a good 45 minutes or so, and then I'm gonna put three coats of base, and then two and a half coats of clear. I'll do uh, one nice full pull, second nice full pull, final out.
is the final coat. And then we're going to go to clear. Not looking too bad. Okay, I mixed up a half a quart of 72.2 and uh, it's warm today so we used a 12385 reducer to get it to the panel and we used a 12305 activator so it's a 3130. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm going to set the gun pressure running and uh, do a spray out before I hit the panel. And I got good flow through here, even though I'm gonna wear a very good respirator, got gloves on. Normally I would wear a full paint suit, um, but I got nice good flow through. Let's make it happen. Last coat, I'm gonna change the angle of the camera so you can see me spraying it. So hopefully I'm in the camera view here. I'm gonna do my spray out, set the pressure, verify and go. And uh, this will be the last coat. Hey everybody, that is going to conclude this video. Um, Eleanor's decklid is red. So if you don't like what you see in this video, let Glenn know about his wall art. Everyone, take care. Thank you for checking in, subscribing. We'll see you very soon in the next one. Take care. I don't like painting uh, through the fan with a filter because <laughs> the booth is open. That door's open and it's coming through up here and down there, but I had something happen. Oh man, and this always gets me, and it'll get anybody, but this is the painter's life. Every time you spray something perfect, there's something that's going to get you. That little son of a bitch right there. I got a bug on a bug. <laughs> It's all good, it tacked off and he just said, ah, I'm gonna come relax right there. He'll write right off as soon as it cures. <laughs>